Ruby here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first beauty slash makeup hair video. Now I wanted to do a different segment in our family vlog, which is Felsman Family Vlogs. Subscribe below if you are new to our channel and you would like to follow us for family adventures. playing with his toys and things like that. Um, now I wanted to do different segments within our family vlog. Now the different segments I want to do is makeup, beauty, and hair related. Now every Monday I would like to dedicate Mondays to Makeup Monday. So every Monday there will be tutorials, um, just me playing with makeup, whatever ideas I can come up with that relates to makeup and then Wednesdays and Fridays it will be beauty related as well. So it could be hair tutorials, um, makeup reviews, whatever it is. And today I wanted to create a very soft natural glam makeup look. Um, now this look was inspired by Kylie Jenner, the Kylie Jenner's makeup palette, which is a sort of sweet palette. And this palette, I believe, is a very true to the natural look. If your overall goal is to achieve that natural look for going back to school or, you know, everyday makeup look for work. Um, but I think this is perfect if you are going to college and you want something that's soft but a little bit more glam. So all the colors that you see are a little bit more on the natural side. Um, which is perfect for that type of setting. Now, this palette did inspire me for this look. Um, everything with the eye makeup. Now, I know Kylie, I mean, once in a while she does a full winged liner, but most of the time she has her soft, natural eye look without the liner, and she has this soft, natural eye makeup look, which is very wispy lashes. Um, and then she likes to do like a mauve or a nude colored lip, but of course she uses her lip liner to overline her lips a little bit more. That's why she has that perfect natural pout. I believe that she is such an inspiration for makeup artists and um, makeup trends everywhere. As you know, she has quite a bit of a following on Instagram. And that is mostly dedicated to her cosmetics brand. So yeah, that is an intro to my very first ever makeup look. And if you would like more videos in the future, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and keep watching. Bye! Now say goodbye to these brows. So now that I have my brows, I think we can go ahead and start on the eyes. So how I start my eyes is I prime my eyelids with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So today to be achieving the Kylie Jenner natural glowy makeup look, I'll be using one of her palettes. Um, and this palette is called the Sort of Sweet Palette. This is what... This is what it looks like. Now this palette has nine different eyeshadows. And the colors on here definitely speaks to me because it has that nude but pinkish um, warm undertones to it. It's literally perfect for every day. Um, I feel like you can use any of these colors for every day. Um, but you know, if you want to go out on a date night or something a little bit more fancier and special, you can darken it up and using this berry color. So for the face, I like to use the color glazed. Much, but it will also pop um, color of your eyes and make you look more weak. 
So what I like to do with a satin finish, um, eyeshadow, is I like to take my finger and just make a circular motion, pack that on nicely. Then I like to put my eyebrows up a little bit, just like so, just so I can see where my eyelids are. And then I like to pack that onto my eyelids. I like using my fingers for a satin or metallic um, formula of shadow just because it applies everything so much more vividly. And I'll be coming home to that. Now, if you follow Kylie, you know that she likes just a tad bit of shimmer on her eyelids. Just a little bit, and everything else she likes to keep matte. As you can see, it's a little bit of that glow sheen to it, but not too much. A little bit more. So for the rest of the eyelid, I like to use a soft um, natural or nude color, just as a base. Now I like to use a big eyeshadow brush just like this one. And this is oh, no special brush, it's just like a generic brush I think I found and you um, somewhere, probably Ulta or something like that. Um, you know, it could be Elf Cosmetics from Target, who knows. I've had it for a long time so I think any big fluffy eyeshadow brush will do as long as it's so what I'm going to use next is buttermilk, the color buttermilk, which is this color right there. It has a nice base to it. What I'm going to do is in a windshield wiper motion, sweep it back and forth, right here from the middle section of your eyes up to your brow bone. Now I like to fan it out a little bit in this area. And do that just like so. I just need to take a little break. This video is not sponsored by Peach Tea, but I do like Peach Tea in raspberry and peach. Okay, so next we will be working with the crease. Now the crease is this area right here. We want to make a transition over from our lid color to the brow bone. So the transition color we'll be using today is rosé. This is a nice transition color because it has that nice peachy nude color. Um, it's not too nude, so it has a little bit of color in there. So what I like to start is start at the edge of your eyes, the end of your eyes right here. Start at the edge and using a light motion, do the same windshield wipe motion. Back and forth, just like that. And you want to make sure to hold your brush like this, not too heavily. Just make sure you're able to move it slightly yeah, like that. <laughs> you don't want to hold it like, you know, like a pencil. You want to be able to apply your product in a light application, just like that. It's so much easier adding on to product little by little than if you were to apply too much. You know, um, when you apply it little by little, you can gradually increase that color um, to where you want your look to be. Um, if you put too much on your eyes and it's not cute at all, you want to take some of it off. It's very, very difficult. So you want to make sure you have that light. Hold onto your brush. Our goal is to have a very nice transition. So everything looks evenly. No harsh lines because harsh lines are no so next I'm going to be darkening my crease area just a little bit to bring in that depth. Um, what I'm going to be using is an eyeshadow brush by Morphe. 
next Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to be picking up this berry color right here. It has a light mauve berry color to it, which will be really nice. Um, so you want to start right there again. And go slightly stopping right at the middle of your eyelid. done. What I will be doing next is fanning out the side of my creases using this Morphe E47 brush. Now this brush has a slanted edge to it and I love that so you are able to hug the side of your eyes just like that. So I'll be using the buttermilk color again right here just start from the bottom of your eyes, moving upwards. Remember to light, hold to your brush, go to the other side. Next I will apply some highlighter to the inner corner of my eyes. I'll be using this Morphe brush by Jaclyn Hill and JH39. Now for my highlighter, I'm going to be using Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Superb. Oops. Let me swatch right here a little bit. Oh, look at that color. Look at that highlight. How? Let me see if it can focus. Focus. Okay. So pretty. So what I like to do is grab that brush and dip it in there a little bit and apply it to your inner corner starting right here down to your tear duct area. This helps widen the eyes a little bit. Okay, so the eyes are basically all done. Next, I'm going to be applying some eyeliner. My favorite eyeliner product is a Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. This is how I apply my eyeliner. I like to start at the inner corner, just like so, and create a straight line across. So the next step is super important because you want to make sure you are fading that bottom liner on the bottom of your eyes. And doing that, you use a small brush just like this. This is a detailed brush by Sonia Kashuk. Um, now I don't think they make these anymore, um, but I'm sure you can find similar brushes out there. I'm pretty sure MAC has one, uh, Morphe probably has one. So I'm just going to use that and drag the eyeliner around a little bit, just like that. So it kind of actually looks like eyeshadow. All right, I think it's time for mascara. My favorite mascara is a L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And this one does. Now I like my lashes to be thick and also voluminous. So after I apply mascara, I like to put false lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and put false lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, my lashes are on. Now I am using a very wispy natural lashes. Natural, not meaning natural as in the sense of not being able to see them, but natural 
like natural placement of where the lashes are. And I feel like this is a very Kylie lashes. Um, she likes that very thick, wispy type of look. So I'm letting my glue dry here a little bit. And I absolutely love this one. Color Savage. 
I think this is like an everyday Kylie lips just because she loves that natural mauve color type of lips. So let's put this on. So just following the outline of your lip liner. Oceans, hello again. Is every ocean come as rain? I know my circles, I know my name. Another sequel is on the way. Oh. Show you what 